Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the home build. Today, we're gonna do a little modification again in the framing. So, what we're presented with is what I, what my project manager wants is under stair storage. So, currently, we have uh, stairs that go up and around right here. We have a lot of this uh, space that's underutilized, and I wanna utilize that space for all our Christmas lights and decorations and stuff. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna modify this framing over here. We're gonna add king stud, trimmer, header for door opening. So let's get started. Uh, the studs currently are 16 on center. Okay, establish that there's gonna be a, a wall right in here and make sure that I'm off of that wall. So I decided I'll keep this king stud or this stud right here, turn it into a king stud. Okay and the, the size of door and frame, it's gonna be a pre-hung door, is gonna be two foot eight door, so a, a two eight by five oh. Okay, so five foot tall, and that would be the door. So, some things to think about is, just like my other interior doors, is I'm gonna have a jam, okay, on both sides, which typical, the, the jam is three quarters thick, Okay, so three quarters on each side with a, a two foot eight door, that's an inch and a half, that's uh, two foot nine and a half inches plus a quarter inch of shimming on both sides. So if you add two inches to your door width, so if I have a two foot eight, I'm gonna have a two foot 10 opening, rough opening what I want. For my height, uh, I want five foot plus another two inches, just like uh, the other interior doors. So adding two inches to my height, so five foot two. That's my rough opening. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark on my, my king studs. There we go, so you can see. I'm gonna mark five foot two. So I got a mark right here. Five foot two. Okay, that's gonna be my uh, my trimmer is gonna go up to that. So that's the bottom of my header. I'm gonna have a two foot or a two two by eight headers because I'm gonna be carrying the second floor floor joist. Okay, so it's got some weight. It's gonna be a bearing wall. That is a bearing wall. Uh, so I wanna make sure it's nice and good and strong. A two by six, uh, two two by sixes would probably work, but it's more to match other interior framed uh, uh, first floor walls. So it's, it's actually supporting the second floor, uh, the walls of the second floor, and then a portion of the roof as well. So got my marks all along on, on both of these. So I'm gonna end up tri or cutting uh, two studs out. Uh, I went ahead and I put in this other king stud right here, same length. So my width, let's so get a good shot of that. So my width currently is 37 and a half inches. So I'm gonna have, uh, so from my, my two foot 10, plus my, I gotta have three inches for uh my trimmers okay so two foot ten there's so two foot eleven thirty six and thirty one there's three inches so it looks like i'm currently a half inch bigger than i intended it to be so uh three foot you know what i'm gonna have to go get my level because i want to double check i measured off of this stud right here it might be bowed or out of plumb or this one might be out of plumb so down at the bottom, down at the bottom on 37. So I need to make some sort of adjustment to see what's not plumb and level's gonna tell me. So currently my, king, my new king stud that I established on the right, it's pretty darn close to plumb. What I measured off of on the other side So on this side, 
This one's out of plumb going the other direction. So it needs to come over. Shoot. Looks like three eighths, almost three eighths of an inch. So this particular stud right here, I need to move it over and I'll probably end up moving it over up the top as well so that my frame's close to plumb. Bigger is better, but I don't need to go excessively bigger. Otherwise the fasteners for the frame will just be too long. All right, so my other king studs nice and plumb now which is great i'm on my mark that i want 37 inches from king stud to king stud i'm gonna have a header that's 37 inches and i'm gonna have my my trimmers or excuse me my, yeah my trimmers are gonna be uh cut so i'm gonna utilize the existing studs those are gonna become my trimmers on each side before I cut those, because I'm going to cut it right here and I'm going to cut it above the header, okay, I need to support a ceiling or a, a ceiling joist. So I got one and I might as well go ahead and throw in two just in case for extra insurance. That would probably be fine, but depending on the weight above, it might be quite a bit of weight. So I, gotta, I need to cut a stud going from the top down and I'll probably... Uh, uh, a wedge it so from the top up high all the way down to the subfloor uh, those are gonna just be temporary two by fours until I cut it put my header in and then I can remove it so that's that's important support the weight above while you're doing the work and then once that works done then you can remove the temporary supports let's get a measurement what do we got here temporary supports on you can see there are two by four going from top down to the bottom I cut it a little long so it's kind of a wedge fit I also put these two by six sleepers my floor joists are running this direction and I wanted to capture a couple of the floor joists I don't want to be right in the center and that kind of sags and you never know you know better to be safe than sorry so I got those on and I'm ready to mark my studs cut them get them out of the way and nail them onto my my uh king studs all right so i want a nice level line going across for where i'm going to be trimming flush on the back so i'm nice and square okay and then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to mark up seven the two by eight is supposed to be seven and a half inches, but they're getting cheap on it. So now it's about uh, seven and five sixteenths. So seven five sixteenths, seven and five sixteenths. That's good. Triple, triple, 
above the header is called a cripple. Below the header, what supports the header is a trimmer. So, got my sawzall. I'm gonna do that. Something that was brought to my attention by uh, one, of the, one of the comments on the page was talk about safety. So, I'm the homeowner, but I've been doing this for a long time, over 23 years now. And so, uh, doing commercial work, it's mainly what I do, but also had businesses doing residential. You gotta, no matter what you do, think of safety. So, I got my earmuffs for my ears, protect my ears, safety glasses, protect my, my eyes, okay? When I go to cut this, it could be wedging down on it because there's, there's weight. Even though my, my temporary shoring is help pushing it up because I got it wedged tight, just be careful when you're, when you're sawing, cutting for any sort of kickbacks. So paying attention to that sort of thing. Uh, it's funny being human. I did exactly what I said I wasn't going to do. I cut the king stud. So, knowing what to fix. So I'm going to take this stud here. Whoa, that sun's bright. I'm going to cut it at the top, relieve the nails at the bottom. And then, now that I got three temporary supports, I'm going to remove this, what was going to be a, uh, a king stud. And I'm going to replace it with that longer stud, just to utilize material. So I made marks at the bottom, top. I'm gonna remove that stud, put it there, and then start over. Not the end of the world, but just wasn't what I was planning on doing. plus OSB gives me my three and a half inches. That's, that's a two by four frame wall that gives me the full depth of what the header is. So now what I'm looking for is I want to be nice and flush right there, flush on the end. My OSB, I made it a little bit small because I don't, you know, Murphy's Law is it, you try to make it right at seven and five sixteenths it'd be sticking out just a little bit. So. Thank you. 
time to wear compressor. Put it up in there. See it in my opening there. Also checking to see if I had a bow, but I don't have a bow on my header. Check our openings. We have on the subfloor the header five foot two. Is that what we want? Is this room for our jam at the top plus shimmy? Okay, and as well as the undercut under the door. We got two foot ten. So that's an inch on each side for a two foot eight door. If I check to see for plumb. Curious, a plum, close to it anyhow. Perfectly plum. So that's I just created an opening, a and that's the width when you say it, it's the width and the height. A 2-8 by by 5 0 door into an existing framing. Header nailed off real well on both sides. And yeah, so I'm gonna have plenty of clearance so I can get those uh, those Christmas lights and, and, uh, and that sort of thing in and around the corner there. Lots of storage. We'll end up filling that completely up. But anyhow, that's the framing. Make sure you support all your floor joists uh, above and as well as spreading out for any kind of weight down below so that is as important as as anything else making sure your joints are nice and tight on your cripples trimmers that's where they don't have gaps there otherwise things are going to settle and compress so these two uh cripples up here were nice and tight it's pushing down real hard on my trimmers 
making sure everything all my joints here are tight that's got a little bit of gap there it was just a little short that's okay i'll tap that on over uh toenails when you do toenails on a two by four okay if they were straight up into it two is fine so i like to i did like to do three toenails two on one side one on the other uh gives it that uh a little extra strength because they're not straight into it um and that sort of thing so now i'm going to cut that bottom plate out so that when the electricians come there they know hey there's an opening let me run my wire up and over instead of right through the darn thing and and then uh uh and then i gotta have them move it so that's that's gonna work other than that that's a wrap for this video on modifying some framing you can see i'm human even though i've been doing this forever i did make a mistake i fixed it okay you're not just i'm not just splicing on a a, a two by four on the side of that that mistake i went ahead and did the whole new one uh went and threw another brace in my shoring just in case because i took that stud out that and replaced it so hopefully you enjoyed be safe out there i look forward to seeing you on the next one